there's quite a bit of things going on in the solar manufacturing market right now. Manufacturers like LG Solar, REC, Qcell, and many more are doing whatever they can to cram as much power as possible into a smaller footprint. While at the same time, we're seeing these same manufacturers focusing on the look of the module for a first, so its appearance is becoming more pleasing once it's installed on your roof. With that said, there is a new manufacturer to this already competitive market, and their focus from the start was the look of the panel, and then the power output rating. Now, we don't offer Aptos solar modules up front, but that's not to say we don't have access to them because we do have them available for our customers like yourselves that want a competing bid to be able to match apples to apples. So I figured, you know what? I should do a video on Aptos Solar's DNA modules, specifically their 370 and their 440 watt solar module and compare it to some of our options that we typically offer our customers, which is LG, REC, and Qcell. But before I enlighten you with some valuable knowledge, please take a second to subscribe to our channel and check our channel membership program that we just launched. Yeah, there's some links down below for you. And for those of you that are watching this video, because you're of course researching the technology being offered to you, you're doing the right thing. But you could be doing something even better, and that's requesting a quote from us, so that way we can give you a competing bid. Yeah, you can just use the link right down in the description below. We have that for you as well. All right, so a brief summary on Aptos Solar. They're a new manufacturer based in Silicon Valley. The company was founded in 2018, I believe, by a group of engineers that came from other areas in the solar industry. At least, I think that's what it was, or that's at least my understanding of their founding. Their solar cell technology is somewhat unique when compared to Qcell or REC, but it's not drastically different from what I can tell. They are using a half cell design, which we know from REC and Qcell to be very reliable, as a half cell design actually boosts the performance of the module and the efficiency. I will say that they do structure their solar cells a bit different than say LG, REC, and Qcell. This isn't something I do too much talking about, the layers, of course, but since they're noting it on their website as a key advantage to their product, I think it's important to bring it up. One more unique design with their solar panels relates to the solar cell bus bar. Every panel has these, they're bus bars. That's how energy transfers from the cells to the inverter. Most manufacturers have around six bus bars. Aptos DNA modules feature nine ultra thin bus bars. I'm not sure if ultra thin is an advantage, but I do know more is better as LG and REC offer usually over 12 bus bars on their modules. Currently, Aptos is on their second generation of modules, and while they are designed and engineered here in California, they are manufactured primarily overseas. I believe Vietnam or Thailand, which a lot of panels are from these regions, so I'm not really docking them for that. It's totally understandable. Regardless of where they're made, though, we have two variations available, their commercial DNA module and the residential DNA module. Now, I've seen some companies actually offering their customers the commercial versions because of the power rating. It's 440 watts, that's a ton of power. And while that's fine and all, keep in mind that some manufacturers will actually void the warranty if a commercial solar panel is installed on a residential project. I'm not saying that's the case here, but you should kind of keep that in mind. So let's start comparing these two modules from Aptos to our Q cells, REC, and LG modules. I'm only going to start the comparison off with Aptos DNA residential modules, and then towards the end of the video, I'll switch it to the commercial just for a quick overview and comparison. Starting with the general specifications, we'll be comparing among these manufacturers. Aptos DNA 120MF26, the 370, offers a power output of 
370 watts, an efficiency of 20.29%, a coefficient rating of negative 0.36%, a nominal module operating temperature of 44 degrees Celsius, a 25-year product warranty, a 30-year performance warranty at 82.4% with a degradation rate of negative 0.54% per year. Comparing this to QCell's QPeak Duo Black ML G10 Plus 400, which offers a power output of 400 watts, an efficiency of 20.4%, a coefficient rating of negative 0.34%, a nominal module operating temperature of 43 degrees Celsius, plus or minus three degrees, a 25 year product warranty, and a 25 year performance warranty at 86%, with a degradation rate of negative 0.5% per year. Comparing this to REC Alpha Pure Black 400, that offers a power output of 400 watts, an efficiency of 21.6%, a coefficiency rating of negative 0.26%, lower is better, a nominal module operating temperature of 44 degrees Celsius plus or minus two degrees, a 25 year product warranty, a 25 year labor warranty for Pro Trust Partner installed systems, a 25 year performance warranty at 92% with a degradation rate of negative 0.25% per year. And finally, comparing this to LG Solar's Neon R440, that offers a power output of 440 watts, an efficiency of 22.1%, a coefficiency rating of negative 0.29%, a nominal module operating temperature of 44 degrees Celsius plus or minus three degrees, 25 year product warranty, 25 year labor warranty, and a 25 year performance warranty at 92 and a half percent with a degradation rate of negative 0.25% per year. As you can see, the Aptos DNA370 isn't a bad module. It's in line with QCell's premium panel option that we offer our customers on a regular basis. Now, I didn't note in the beginning, the cost just yet, because I want to give you a base on where this panel lines up to these other manufacturers. With that said, pricing shown is based on or around a six kilowatt solar system using Enphase latest eighth generation microinverters. They are starting to phase out that seventh generation. Remember the pricing shown is an estimate and will vary. So I recommend you request your hassle-free quote from us. We service a pretty large area here in Southern California, LA, down to San Diego. So wherever you are, we're probably there for you. And you can use that link down in the description below to get a more accurate quote for your exact needs. All right, looking at the Aptos system first, you'll need 16 modules and microinverters, of course, with a total system cost of $18,481 before the federal investment tax credit of 26%, giving you a net system cost of $13,676. Comparing this to QCell's G10 Plus 400, which only needs 15 modules, so we're able to shrink the system a little bit because the QCells are a higher wattage here, the total system cost is $19,122 before that federal investment tax credit which gives you a net cost of $14,150. Not a very big difference, but let's compare this to the REC Alpha Pure and LG Solar Neon R. These are our premium plus and prestige options. The REC Alpha Pure Black 400 pushes that price up to $21,259 before that FTC of 26%, giving us a net system cost of $15,732. And the LG Solar Neon R 440's price comes in at $23,272, of course, before that tax credit of 26%, giving us a net system cost of $17,221. As I'm sure you can see, the pricing for the REC and LG systems went way up compared to QCell and Aptos, and they're a much higher end product at the end of the day. But the difference between QCell's 10th generation module to Aptos's DNA's second isn't very large. And I would wage many of you would probably go with QCell just for the peace of mind that you're going with a company that's been in business since 1999, not 2018. But 
If you remember correctly, I said earlier in this video, Aptos has a 440 watt commercial module that many companies have been offering homeowners. And while this module isn't technically residential panel, it's extremely large, we should still at least compare it. So adding the Aptos DNA 144 MF26 440, we see the panel has a power rating of 440 watts with an efficiency rating of 20 0.21%, a coefficient rating of negative 0.38%, nominal module operating temperature of 44 degrees Celsius, 25 year product warranty, a 30 year performance warranty at 82.4%, with a degradation rate of negative 0.54% per year. Besides the module having a higher wattage rating, which is primarily due to the increased size of the panel. I mean, this panel is over eight feet tall. It's a very large panel compared to your normal residential module. There really isn't much of a difference between the residential DNA and the commercial DNA from Aptos. When you add the pricing in, I could understand why some homeowners would find this panel attractive at $19,215 before the federal investment tax credit of 26%, giving us a net system cost of $14,219 after making it just about the same cost as QCell's G10 Plus option. So this kind of brings us to the question, where does this panel fall in line with the others? Is it good? Is it better? Is it the best? And I would have to say it's a good panel. I think Aptos's line is good in general. It's far from the best. I understand it has a high power output, but when comparing a commercial module to a residential, there's definitely some significant differences here, especially when you're looking at the warranties of the performance of the product, the efficiencies and the coefficiencies, as you can see. And this kind of comes as a shocker to some of you, I'm sure that a bigger solar panel doesn't automatically make it a better solar panel. You can see that the efficiency rating is the lowest of the bunch and it has the highest coefficiency rating, which you want to be lower. And the warranty isn't really any better than that of its competitors. Sure, it's for 30 years, but if you review the performance at year 25, it's at 85.1%, which QCell's 86%. But it's not trying to be the best panel on the market. Aptos is trying to be a really good panel at a really good price, and I think they've nailed that. Like I said, it's a good panel. There are definitely panels worse than the Aptos DNA. I've seen them, haven't talked about them, maybe I'll do it in the future, be sure to subscribe. If I were to focus solely on maximizing my savings and return on investment for the solar system and not really worried about the equipment being installed, then this is really a good option for you because you're going to get a product that lasts 30 years. I mean, any of these solar modules are gonna last 30 years. So it's just a really cost effective product at the end of the day and it looks good i mean it is all black but these other manufacturers are doing the same thing anyways that's it for this week's video be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you found it helpful i, I think you did and of course if you're someone that lives in our area southern california then visit us online to receive your hassle free quote we really do make it easy and affordable for you to make the switch to clean reliable energy thanks again for watching until next time